in 2005, I had experienced a lot of loss. And uh, my granddaughter of two months passed away. And the following month, my brother passed away. And I thought I was just depressed. And so I went to the doctor thinking, he'd give me a pill and I'd go on. And instead, I was diagnosed with uh, type 2 diabetes. Uh, <laughs> it was quite a shock. But I started in uh, 2005 on medication. Um, I did insulin. I did just about everything, diet, exercise, but nothing would control it. In 2013, I went so far as to have a, a gastric bypass surgery uh, because the doctor said that was the way they treated it in Europe. And so I said, OK, let's do that. And they took out 75 percent of my stomach. So that worked for a few years of maintaining. Uh, but then it went right back to the old old way. And so I went back on medication. Uh, we started doing the patches in June of 2023. We started the patches not for my issue, but for pain relief for my husband and me and my knee because I had arthritis. I guess I can say that. Um, but uh, that's not what happened. <laughs> the The stem cells needed to go to my pancreas. And so I started uh, having my blood sugar, the doctor had put me on, um, I was taking two pills a day and uh, it started dropping actually too much. So we dropped my medication to one pill a day. Then we had to drop it to half of that. Then we kept dropping it to the point that the doctor said, well, just stop it because your blood sugar is dropping too low. So I stopped the pills um, and my blood sugar has maintained uh, between 86 and 108, you know, if I'm really crazy, it might get up to 130. But um, I never thought I would ever be able to get off the medication. Uh, I just thought that was a way of life. And I had had family members who had passed away from the, the side effects of this, of this situation. So I, I have been over the moon. <laughs> but that, again, uh, I had other issues, too that I didn't even realize were being affected until I started writing notes. And I thought, I have not had an issue with what was diagnosed as diverticulitis in 1976, where I would have like four bouts at least a year, which would only be relieved by very strong medication, antibiotics, and bed rest. And I just realized that I haven't had an attack uh, since we started using the patches. So my husband and I both, when we started, were only using the X39 and Eon. And uh, the other thing that was really an issue was my sleep. I would take, at that time, I would take uh, 16 to 1800 milligrams of ibuprofen or acetaminophen mm -hmm. and three 10 milligrams of um, melatonin. And so I ran out of melatonin <laughs> and I thought, oh, well, I'm just going to see because my pain had stopped uh, in my in my leg and my knee. And so I just stopped using the uh, melatonin that I had and I was sleeping sound before I would have to get up two or three times in the night and then I would have trouble going back to sleep. But since I've been using the patches, I may get up in the night. I a time, just one time, but I go right back to sleep. I don't have any issues sleeping and I sleep soundly. Um, so does my husband. <laughs> He's sleeping soundly now. And uh, we both have seen little changes in other areas. Um, one thing with my husband, we we're working on the pain in his hips and that's coming. And I believe it's, it's going to take longer, but that's that's good. Uh, we're, we're making progress. But uh, he told me, he's just, I feel good. He said, I feel good. And that is really a neat thing to say because sometimes he could be a little grouchy, <laughs> but <laughs> he's not grouchy anymore. <laughs> and I love it. Uh, let's see, what else was it? My, uh, in November, I had, um, uh, from June to November, my blood sugar dropped from 7.9 to 7, uh, my A1C 
dropped from uh, 7.9 to 7. And so I'm expecting that to continue to go out, go down. But um, that to me has just been amazing because that hasn't happened before. And uh, uh, I've got my doctor's backing. <laughs> he says, go for it. So I'm going for it. But he's always been very open to anything. I <laughs> I argue with him and he lets me, <laughs> he lets me win sometimes. <laughs> but but um, uh, both of us are just expecting, we've decided that we would make the commitment that it's not a quick fix. It's not something that's going to happen overnight because everybody's used to a microwave world. Uh, but we would give it the, the months that we needed to, uh, one month for each 10 years. But I don't think we'll ever stop using batches now because we don't ever want to reverse what's what already already been done. Um, I have to, I don't want to get emotional. I'm so thankful for what, uh, for what David has done. Uh, we use a lot of patches now, or I do, but um, the first five months, all we used was the Eon and X39. But I'm so grateful for all the uh, patches. <clears throat> and I'm thankful for David that he hears from God and he listens to those divine downloads. And so uh, that's that's about it. 